Greetings to all the great people out there. Hope you're safe and well. Today I'm quite excited to share with you this Raku Telecaster. And special thanks to the Arakin Music Factory for sending this guitar to me. I've actually had it for close to a week now and I managed to spend some quality time playing with it. And today I'd like to share with you some of my thoughts about this guitar itself. Let's start with the price of this Telecaster. Currently, it's actually retailing at Ringgit Malaysia 1288 only. If you want to purchase this Telecaster, you can actually check out the link below of this video and there's actually a discount code yeah, where you can actually enjoy additional 5% on the retail price. For the pickups, it actually came with a Soap Bar P90 from Wilkinson and the last I checked, uh, is actually an LD Core 5 uh, magnet bar yeah. and this same goes to the Wilkinson Telecaster bridge pickup as well I've actually measured the DC resistance of this pickup for the deck is actually outputting at 6.58 kilo ohm and for the bridge is slightly higher to 6.88 kilo ohm as you can see these are relatively a low output pickups yeah. and it's actually quite suitable for all type of cleans, uh, slightly mid gain to break up and over driven tones too. And if you are familiar with or have experience with Telecaster, usually Telecaster configuration comes with a metal cover uh, neck pickup. Well, to be honest, to my preference, this type, those type of pickup is actually a bit uh, darker to my liking. Yeah? And it always sounded muffled, like, it seems like you are wearing a mask like this. Okay. And it, what it means to me is actually quite hard to balance it with the bridge pickup too. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm glad that Raku Guitar has actually incorporated the P90s in their series here. Yeah. Uh, I find it is actually giving me enough clarity from the neck pickup and that warmness that I'm looking for. And most importantly, it's quite easy for me to balance it with the bridge pickup. Yeah. I have no issue on having the bridge too trebly or too, too bright here compared to the neck itself. So when I'm switching between these, these two uh, pickups, uh, I can really uh, get great tones here. Enough talking, let's go to the next session and see how this pickup sounds here. All the clips that you heard so far is actually recorded directly from this guitar to my Line 6 port go. 
So the subsequent clip uh, will be using the same overdrive patch, but with my volume knob turned down to 60% over here. Let's check it out. When I first received this Telecaster, to be honest, I'm quite impressed about the overall quality of this guitar. Although it came with a Canadian poplar body, which I'm expecting it to be light, yeah? but to my surprise, when I weighed it, it's actually weighted at 3.6 kg, and it really feels premium on, on that weight. Yeah? It also came with a roasted maple neck, and you have sticky finger like mine, probably we might want to consider a maple neck because when I play this for some time, even though my hand gets sweaty, especially my palm at the back of the neck, I don't feel that stickiness compared to the usual maple neck that I'm using. Yeah. So it really helps uh, to solve my problem at least. Yeah. And you might really want to check out the benefits of the roasted neck online too. Other than that, it also came with the stainless steel jumbo frets, yeah? So uh, you do not need to worry about getting your guitar refretted, yeah? Because literally, stainless steel is actually a quite a strong material. So uh, if you actually have experience of refretting your guitar, right? Usually, the luthier is actually charging quite a premium rate to refret it to stainless steel, yeah? And, and for this price, I can guarantee you or no doubt yeah, I can't find any guitar that come with stainless steel at this price point that I mentioned earlier. Okay. Also, it's actually quite rare to get a bone nut yeah, in, in this range of guitar. So I think these are some of the very key unique features which I'm quite happy with this Raku Telecaster itself. So what's my honest opinion about the Raku Telecaster? First of all, I think at this price point, it does offer a lot of great features here. Yeah? And this feature usually can be found only on premium grade guitars. And I, so far, I have not come across any guitar that is able to offer similar features here. Yeah? And you might ask if there are any sort of like cons to the Raku Telecaster. I personally won't say it's a con, but it's probably an area of improvement that I will look forward to yeah. the first thing is actually the machine tuner it came with a standard uh, chrome tuner uh, when you when when you tune it just feel a bit hard during tuning but it doesn't uh, create any sort of tuning instability issue especially it's actually using a quick switch uh, uh, over here in this telecaster yeah. and probably the second area and the last area that we put on is actually the Fret edges here. Yeah. Well, to be honest, it's actually quite comfortable. If I have, I've, I've played more comfortable neck before, if I were to uh, rate this neck 10 be the best, I personally would rate this as 7. So it's actually quite an easy fix here yeah, uh, by sending to a professional luthier here yeah, or experienced luthier to get it rounded a bit more. Yeah. That would offer a real butter smooth playing, yeah, especially if you're using your thumb quite often in your neck. Yeah. So, Oh no, I think it's a very comfortable neck. Yeah? It comes with a slim C or C pro modern C profile. Yeah? Uh, and I'm easily able to wrap my fingers, especially my thumb with the neck. Yeah? Uh, it actually suits my playing style. And it has a very flat uh, 
40 in the years here, making uh, fast playing sewing is quite quite easy, especially with the different friends. Glad you make it to the end. Hope you enjoy all the information I've shared about the Rakko Telecaster. If you want more details about the Rakko Telecaster, please watch the subsequent video here or here. Lastly, thank you again. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and please consider subscribing to the channel. Give us a like and comment too. See you on the next video.